Hello, this is Dan the Believer Man. If God says it's okay, should we force our faith onto other people our way? Recently there had been so many instances and shows, and even at the newest Paris Olympics Games 2024, where very many Christian people felt sad or personally attacked by the Olympics organizers, where Lord Jesus' name was mocked about. A lot of Christians have immediately reacted by becoming very loud on all the social media platforms, and even blocking a huge avenue in Paris, to show the world that they were very bothered by this statement of the Olympics organizers, and protested by singing and praying to defend God's name. As a believer in God myself, I find this response of the Christians' brothers and sisters very wrong, and before you feel offended or in need to defend Lord Jesus again, please allow me to present to you the way I understood the Bible and Lord Jesus' teachings. I am sure that as believers in God's wisdom, strength, love, and the fact that He is not bound by time, we can agree that God is the greatest Father anyone could wish for. As a God's Son, I am trying my best to unite all the people on earth into one body and one voice. And for this to be possible, we all need to leave aside all our differences, beliefs, and customs and start walking towards one common goal the goal of being the creators of our own life's journeys and not the abstract rules followers. For everyone to take this massive step, we need to accept the fact that some people believe in different things than others, and we should learn to accept it with open arms. We should be true believers in God's power and love and don't doubt His wisdom in any way. God Himself has given everyone the freedom to choose in what to believe. God promised us that if we truly believe in Him, He will give us anything we need to make the most of this beautiful gift called life in the physical world, or body. If anyone has a problem with the way Lord Jesus' name was presented or called, they should only say, God bless their souls, and stop watching the event, or even refuse to take part in it, trusting that God will reward them in a different way for losing all those years of training to be able to compete in those games. By protesting loudly and worse, trying to push God's name into the society, we show God that we don't trust in His powers, we don't follow Lord Jesus' teachings, that we are scared of how many people will join that type of mentality and leave God's side. As believers in God, we have to be the example of kindness and acceptance in the world and not block the streets or shout as loud as we can to prove a point. In my book, Meet My Friend the Ego, I wrote that the devil is not here to destroy us all unless we are affirming that with true belief. The devil was put on earth by God when he understood that we need the devil's daily challenges as much as we need God's love and care. Our human intellect needs to understand the difference between both feelings, both worlds, both mind states. Without overcoming challenges, we would never know happiness. Without feeling fear, we would never appreciate the good feeling of love and care of our Lord Jesus and so on. If you truly believe in God's power, never doubt it. Never try to forcefully bring belief in anyone's life. Everyone life's challenges are specifically tailored to their needs at that moment in time. They need to learn for themselves how to overcome their own challenges. This is why I believe that by doing most things for our children these days is wrong, and these challenges we see today happening that we don't like might actually be ours because of how much we tried to give our children an easy life. I still believe that our only chance for a more fulfilled life is a global unity. It is so easy to join us and then see how amazing our lives will be when we will feel that we are part of something so huge and so amazing. But more importantly, when you will see that something so extraordinary gets to be created with the help of your participation, your goodwill, your skill. This is what I am proposing, guys. You will never look back and all future generations will get to be grateful of their parents' and grandparents' achievements. Then your soul will get to feel the bliss which Lord Jesus talked about with so much passion. Don't worry if you cannot help. Share it with a few other people as they might know someone who can and they will thank you for it. Today we are just a few, but tomorrow we will be all here 
and it will be because of you decided to take action and share these videos. I love you and thank you.